because I'm classy like that. Um, <laughs> my name is Maribel Navra, and I'm from Ralston High School. The truth is, even the strongest stallions can be broken. And I shouldn't have gone out that night. I shouldn't have snuck out like that. I mean, even the crisp, eerie air told me to go back inside, but he hated it when I canceled our plans. I think about telling him, and my cheek begins to sting like the first time he hit me. His hand connected with my face, and I involuntarily whisper, I'm sorry. He stops and turns to me, that hand that my face is so familiar with is now making its way to my shoulder and I wince twice. One, because I remember. Two, because I shied away, he hates it. When I shy away, his hand takes a detour to my arm and he grips it with ease and yanks me to him. Can you tell me what about this I thought was okay? This is not a poem I wrote for pity. I cannot tell you why I stayed for so long. Maybe because I was afraid or maybe because the pain was like a drug. He beat me into dependency. Anger does not begin to describe how I felt. What I felt never mattered, so it's best not to feel anything. I remember when he beat me until I couldn't feel anything. I tried to leave once. He said, if you leave now, my blood will be on your hands. You are my only reason to live. I love you. I made the mistake of believing him every single time. This is what love was to me. It was pain and suffering. I mean, he made me cut with him. He would say love is hurting together. It wasn't until that one night that I realized that he has never hurt with me. That night, I knew I shouldn't have snuck out. I shouldn't have gone out like that. Even the air that was usually so inviting told me to go back inside. He started with my shirt, and it tore so easily. I tried pushing him away, but he has always been stronger than me, and he called in help or pairs of hands on my body, and I still don't know their names. I don't even remember if I cried. Someone let go of my legs because jeans do not tear so easily. They do not betray so easily. This was their one mistake. I remember kicking, but I don't remember how I got away. This is the first night I apologized to my body and the last night, I allowed myself to cry. You see, even the strongest stallions can be broken. And I am finally ready to run wild again. <laughs>